Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I feel like this is going to be a standard phrase in every single cooking video of mine, but um, tonight I'm going to be making fettuccine alfredo, but the kick is that it's going to be made with tofu instead of um, the really heavy cream and butter and however you make it um, regularly. But um, yeah, so it's just like a block of tofu and some milk, you can use soy milk. Um, of course, there's going to be parmesan, which is going to be kind of like the main flavor base. Um, I guess you can make it fully like vegan or vegetarian, no vegan, if you use like the vegan cheese, but I've never actually tried those kinds of cheeses, so I don't know how it tastes. Um, I don't eat cheese in general, but I do like parmesan. It has like a really nice flavor and you don't have to use a lot of it. Um, so yeah. We're going to be making that, and we're also going to be using uh, tofu shirataki, so that's even healthier than just your regular pasta noodles, so it's a really low calorie dish if you guys are looking for that. Um, oh, and I also want to say that tofu is just in general, it's a great substitute if you want to have something a little bit creamy but not too unhealthy. Um, just recently I made a Suza dressing and I used tofu instead of um, all the bad ingredients. Um, I also made a mock whipped cream with tofu, um, just a little bit of milk to thin it out. Um, not too much to have it like really runny, but um, I added stevia and a little bit of cinnamon and I topped the pumpkin pie with it and it was freaking great. But yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say, so if you guys are interested, now you should continue watching. Just add a little bit of oil and you can use butter for a little bit more flavor and we're just going to saute the onions. Make sure um, the onions don't get too brown because um, we don't want to caramelize it because we're actually going to blend this in the, uh, the tofu mixture. Now you can add a little bit of water if you like um, so they don't burn. So while the onions and garlic are cooking, I'm just going to show you guys the variety of shirataki that's out there. Um, these ones are actually made out of konnyaku, and this would be the original color of it. But this one is actually made into noodle forms, um, and this is the block form. And you cut into any kind of shapes you like, usually it's just kind of sliced like that. Um, and here is the tofu version. And apparently it is Hungry Girl approved. I have no idea who she is, but it only has 20 calories, which is really great. Um, I don't know how much calories pasta has, but if you don't want to use this tofu shirataki, you can just use the regular um, fettuccine noodles. Um, if you want to be a little bit more healthy, maybe you can use the, um, the whole wheat version, but we're just going to boil this in water for about two to three minutes and then pat it dry and it comes in a block like this and is packed with water. This is the smooth kind and it is a bit firm. There's also the silken tofu, which um, usually I use for more custards, but this one, I want the sauce to be a little bit thicker, so I had to get the, I think this is a medium. I don't know, there's also a firm kind, but you probably want to get the smooth medium tofu. And we're just going to use one block of this. Now what I usually do for um, the tofu that I don't, like I have the remaining tofu, I would just keep it in a Tupperware and I put like a little bit of water in it. So I just want to show you guys how smooth this tofu is. It's quite smooth so you don't, make sure you um, honestly don't get the, just the firm tofu. You want to get the smooth one because you don't want the sauce to be grainy. So we're just going to pop this in the blender. So what I have here is the parmesan and this is just the shredded kind. I find it easier. Um, I don't really like shredding cheese, so we're just going to add a half a cup of this. 
So I have my Vitamix here and I find that it's kind of like the best blender to have. Um, it is a little bit pricey but um, it does liquefy things. I found with other blenders they don't really um, give that smooth consistency. Um, things still are a little bit like grainy but um, we're just going to add the onions and garlic and I'm just going to thin it out with a little bit of skim milk. Um, not too much, maybe like max quarter cup, but I mean you can just blend away and see if you need any more. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of chicken broth, or chicken stock, chicken powder, whatever the hell you call this. <laughs> um, and that's going to give it taste. Um, you can add seasoning salt if you like, and salt and pepper, but I add the pepper at the end and herbs are going to be at the end as well. You can garnish it with parsley if you like or maybe even basil, but I'm just going to add that for now. I think the consistency is pretty good. I didn't add that much milk. Let's just see it. Um, I mean, you need it thick enough just to coat the noodles, so I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to warm up the sauce and you can see how thick it is. You know what, since basil is my favorite herb, and I didn't forget to buy some fresh basil, but I'm just going to add some dried basil. And now it's ready to plate. I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of parmesan. And just pretend that was basil. I don't have any, but I love parsley as well. And just some black pepper. And that is the final dish. Wow, this is the first time I've tasted uh, tofu shirataki and it's actually pretty good. Definitely, I'll probably substitute it for regular pasta. I'm really digging the basil because basil is like absolutely my favorite herb. Parmesan is really good. Um, I haven't had uh, Alfredo sauce in a really long time, but you know what? This actually tastes like Alfredo sauce, like the real stuff. Wow. You guys definitely need to try this recipe. It's low calorie. I mean, it, all it has is Parmesan for the bad thing, but that's fun. It's really healthy. Great. Thanks for watching, guys.